Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Today, I just want to show you how you can utilize these awesome fe this awesome feature called uh, called query parameters in your models. So, what query parameters allow you to do is they actually allow you to filter. Uh, your data or you actually do a range of different things based on parameters or based on entries that you can make or someone else can make in your models. So we you actually implement this is in, inside the query editor so I'm just going to jump there. Um, but I'll, actually before I do that I wanted to show you well this, this we've, say we've got a, a report page made up this is really a simple report where we've got some locations and we've got uh, sales by the city within that location uh, and then also by customers and we could obviously we can drill into here but say for instance you want to quickly just look at a particular region here you don't want to actually look at the entire data set so you may want to put a say a parameter in there that says okay filter filter this report by say a selection and then um, have a look at what, what it, and then you can see it all automatically adjust you don't have to go rebuild a report or anything like that so to do this to do this what we need to do is we need to jump to the query editor and we need to use this awesome feature up here, parameters, right? So where we can actually input parameters. And what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to create a simple parameter. Hopefully you can see, recognize how you could utilize this in a number of other different ways. But uh, see here we've got uh, location. So I want to be able to dynamically filter my state code here so that I can then drill into only a very specific region or specific state here but then not have to actually adjust anything manually it just will happen automatically so i'm going to create a new parameter up here i've already created one um which uh, i um uh, i did, did earlier but um but but this way we're going to focus on on on, a, on incorporating this into a filter so i'm going to call this location filter and i'm just going to write a quick description and say this uh, will uh, filter the state code and what we can do here is we've got a number of different options and I'm going to I obviously want text and then we can choose between a list of values any value or a query so you can get really quite advanced here but I'm just going to go list of values and I'm going to list down here a few of those state codes and so I'm going to FLGA North Carolina and we'll also do um, New York as well and what we can do is we can we can actually default it to something um, so I'm just going to default it to to Florida um, and then go OK. Cool. And then we have this location filter. I'm just going to put it up into my parameters group. So this is another really good technique to try and put your things into groups so that they are a bit more organized in here. And then within this filter, now we can actually select all the different regions that we've put in here. This is just a small subset. You could do something more substantial, but we could actually choose Florida here. We could actually choose um, Georgia. So we need now. We now need to somehow integrate this into our um, into our query here. So we've got location here. We need to dynamically filter the state code, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it manually first, and then show you how you can integrate the parameter after that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter. I'm going to filter this column by Florida, and then you'll see now that this this table has only got Florida um, locations in it. And then the, what we have to do is we need to, in the advanced editor, incorporate the name of this parameter. So let's go and look at the final row here. And it says filter row, filter by Florida. Now instead of Florida, what I want to do is I'm actually going to put in the location filter in here as my parameter. And then I'm going to go done. And now check this out, check this out. If I then come back here and I change this to, say, GA for Georgia, that will automatically filter this table. How cool is that? And we can do the same for we can do the same that for any of the um, the, the parameters that we that we that we uh, input here. And so the cool thing is is that we can then incorporate this in a dynamic way so that it filters through to this table. And then check this out. If we then if we then commit it, then what's going to happen is the entire table is going to be filtered. Uh, for that particular uh, parameter, right? And so then we can then jump back here and uh, again do a quick change to say uh, instead of um, New York, we go Florida, back to Florida, and then we can commit it again and we can see how that would be utilized um, there. Obviously it looks like there's a bit of an issue with blanks because um, of the non-results, so we would need to get rid of those somehow. Um, so we could um, we could come in here and we could say, well, if the um, value is blank, we, we don't want it. So, um, so there's a number of different ways that uh, is not blank we want it. 
So there's a number of different ways that you could do it. Um, obviously, there's something going on with a blank here. I'll try and w try and work that out at a later point. I think it's probably because it's just there's lots of other values that don't exist here, and we need to somehow filter th those out. Probably, actually, probably what we need to do is we need to jump in and uh, find the state here and uh, only select Florida. So get rid of the blank there. Yeah. So that so that that now works better. Um, so yeah, so so really cool feature, right? Very easy to implement, and there's lots. There's just so many ways you could swing this. I mean, you could have filters for for, for Africa, really. I mean, you could have uh, parameters feeding into a number of different things. Think of all the transformations that you could do in here. You could somehow you can create parameters that feed into these, uh, and that's what that parameter feature is for. So seriously, seriously, cool stuff. Okay, hopefully you can find a way to utilize this in your own environments. I wish you all the best with it and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.